Excited to try out this new format as well. Um, both players have got a different advantage in this series. What we've decided to do is have... It looks like Daniel's trying to keep this uh, server from starting. I think he can just go back to spectate and it won't start. It's fine though. Game one. Away we go. Um, but let me just explain for all the people tuning in at the very start of this match what is going on here. We've got Daniel versus Zen, best of seven. We're starting off on US East server. And we actually coin flipped the server advantage in this match. And uh, Daniel won the coin flip, so he gets four games in his own server. Zen only gets three. Um, but to make up for that, Zen was allowed to choose the order that the servers happened in. And the order that he's chosen is two games in US East, followed by two games in Europe, followed by another two games in US East, and then followed by one more game in Europe. So if we go the distance, if we go to game seven, Zen will have the home server. But in order to get there, he needs to win at least one game out of the four on US East, this being the first of them. And of course, he'd have to defend his own server twice as well. Um, so that's the task that Zen has here. Daniel can win the series if he just defends his home server advantage all four times that we play on it. Um, but that's obviously a little bit of pressure on him because he knows he's supposed to do that. You are supposed to win when you've got home server advantage. And oh, that can lead to the nerves being a little bit higher. Now, I think I've actually fallen behind a bit on subs. So before we go even further behind, let me just very quickly say thanks to Turkey90, uh, 910, Buried Living RL, Mpains12, Kobe Wool for the brand new primes and the resubs as well. Oh, Zen's... I think he's accidentally missed this. I'm really sorry, Daniel, but we have to look and see if Zen missed this by, by accident. I think he did. And <laughs> it's worked. Actually, no, never mind. I take it back. He went for the bump. Wow. Okay, that was actually that was calculated by Zen. I completely stand corrected. He flipped away from the ball there, going for the bump. Um, Daniel's going to tie regardless. Off a couple of 50s here. Teammate, thanks for the seven month prime. He says, how do I get the prize pool going? Well, my minimum donation is $50, uh, I believe, or £50 pounds or something. I've got an intentionally high minimum donation to uh, encourage people not to donate <laughs> to my stream because I don't want donations. You guys should keep your money. I don't need it. But uh, yeah, if you want to donate to the prize pool, it's yeah, going to have to start at that number minimum. <laughs> and then, yeah, the players get it all. So I basically get no, no donations myself from my stream these days. Um, and yeah, pretty much 100% of the donations go to the price, but almost, almost 100%. Which is kind of the way I want it, to be honest. Zen's playing well here. Already putting a bit of pressure on Daniel on his home server. Daniel's kickoff doing work for him though. That could be another kickoff goal. Indeed it is. Zen might want to switch it up here. Go for something a bit more reserved with his kickoff strat. Not flip quite so hard into the ball. Using all his boosts in the process. Alistair Wilson, 50. Daskim, thanks for the tier one and the prime, respectively. Voidy, thanks for the six month tier one as well. And I think I've said thanks to all the subs, but if I have forgotten you, then yeah, you'll have to just forgive me because I'm trying to multitask here. Um, but I do appreciate all the support. We've had a ton of support in the stream the past week, and yeah, it's mainly thanks to this guy, to be honest. Mainly thanks to Zen, but also thanks to the USA ones, stars, Daniel FK, AJ, the Brazilian one stars. Uh, Jory is, yeah, everybody. We've had so many world-class players in the stream. Bunch of Europeans as well. A Zen is popping off here. Pressure on Daniel. Home server advantage. But he's got to prove it, you know? He's got to prove that he can win all the home server games here. This is the... I guess the the interesting part about this format. Um, is that, you know, yeah, one player's got the home server advantage but in a way they've got pressure on themselves as well it's a bit i think it could be it could end up being quite even um and if you guys like this style of cross server match then we could we could revisit it with other matches in the future as always just leave comments if you if you enjoy this sort of uh content like forever small thanks for the brand new prime welcome back to the channel Zen's defended quite well here to start things off he's obviously lost a few goals Oh my word. But yeah, he's defended very well. He's, you know, rebounded quite a few of Daniel's attacks into possessions for himself. And he's looking pretty hard to stop at the other end. That's a very difficult flick to read. Daniel looking to react to what Zen's doing. But with setups like these, sometimes you just have to go. Another strong kickoff for Daniel. He's not going to be able to shoot that one first time, though. Has to dribble it to the back corner and take a boost advantage. But this is the next best thing. Boost advantage for Daniel. He concedes possession in the process, though. It's not ideal. He obviously wanted to keep the ball there. Zen trying to trip Daniel up as he leaves the half. 
Now he's back in control, back in the driver's seat. Already up two goals in the opening game. Oh, Pogo by Zen is off the post. Pogo shot by Zen. Caught Daniel by surprise. That shot just happened a slight second before Daniel expected it. But Daniel's not been mega clipped on yet. He has, you know, he's been on the receiving end of some good goals, but that would have really been a, a tough one to take early on. Out of nowhere as well. Daniel staying solid with his own game. No need to make any crazy switch-ups just yet. And here he comes with a huge aerial. Zen's up quickly. He's healing recovery. And Daniel's going to win the race to the boost here. This is massive. Zen can't make an awkward touch. Daniel coming at him now from close range. Again, Zen able to rebound. What oh, Daniel's sending his way. What's the approximate YouTube uh, upload delay? I think this match will be on my YouTube channel in, ju in uh, just under a week from now. I think this will be up on... Tuesday next week. Great defense again by Zen. He's really being tested here. Daniel should still be scoring eventually here. He's got the boost advantage and he's got the aerial mechanics to bring the game back to a tie. No pressure on Zen. He's been struggling with his kickoff game at moments in this match. He's got to try and figure out a way to at least go even. Again, it goes very in Daniel's favor and it goes very in Zen's net. Pre-flip just narrowly missing there for Zen. Looks like Daniel's just going a bit more central in the ball and Zen's not reading what side he's pushing the ball towards. I think overall this is probably a good start for Zen. He'll be pretty happy with how this has gone. Because he, he needs to win one game on the US East. That's the mentality he's got here. He's got to get one out of the four. Four tries. Daniel fighting back in the first one. And uh, he's, you know, making these kickoff possessions look just as easy as kickoff goals. Lovely little movement there by Daniel to just drop the ball, allow it to bounce one more time. And uh, keep the shot nice and high away from his opponent. Can Zen get his first kickoff goal of the game? Yes, he can. So finally, he manages to counter Daniel's strong start with the kickoffs that he's brought to the table today. One goal in it. An explosive start to the series by both players. Daniel doesn't need to really go all in right now. He's probably better not to when Zen's got boost in defense than trying to floor pinch this one. Daniel spotted that. Neil Cherry, thanks for the two month prime. Welcome back to the channel. Daniel's trying to space Zen off the play here. Pre jump, not quite connecting. Zen finds a way through. Brilliant, simply brilliant by Zen. Daniel deliberately putting himself close to the play there to bait Zen into the air, but Zen just able to generate enough acceleration to go past Daniel before any contact could be made. Kickoff goes Daniel's way. Zen tries to knock it off his own post wall. He does so well. He's going to be on small pads here. Daniel backs him up with another shot. Zen's saved up 30 boost. Daniel just popping shots again and again. Until an easy opportunity presents itself. He thought that was it. Zen disagrees. Now the counter-attack is on the way to Daniel's goal. He's going to get there, but this is a very tricky position for both players. Zen pops a shot straight in the top corner. Oh my goodness, the placement. Zen survives the Daniel pressure and then delivers him an impossible to save shot 29 seconds to go now everybody laughing at Daniel shooting here he wasn't looking for a goal he was looking to waste Zen's boost it's not a terrible idea what he went for there he just decided to go all in one play too early he thought Zen was completely out of boost Zen still had 12 now Zen trying to keep Daniel in the exact same position he doesn't want to go all in here but he manages it perfectly 10-8 what a swing we've had this game Daniel just did not have the boost to survive that pressure. He needs a kickoff goal right now, or at worst, an immediate conversion on a kickoff possession play. He's going to get a kickoff goal. Zen tried to delay him, and Daniel read it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the drama that we're getting in this game. Delayed kickoff by Zen. Daniel spotted it and chipped it over him. Zen with a nice one in the quick chat, acknowledging Daniel's keen eye to come back again and threaten a 10-10. It's not the best touch by Zen. He's forced to turn early. Well, Daniel's got a possession here. Can't ask for much more than that. Can he convert on it? 
No, no, he can't. Oh, my goodness. Zen just barely wins it. But well, not without a scare. That is one of the most dramatic one games I have ever seen. Daniel started strong. Zen came back. Daniel came back. And then Zen came back again. And then Daniel almost came back again. That is unbelievable. I'm not sure if both players... Okay, they, they did rejoin the match here, didn't they? I think they rejoined. We're playing one more game on USC server here. That was the uh, NA server game one. Uh, if every other game in the series goes to the home server player, Zen will win. Like, the pressure is now on Daniel. He is the one who needs a break of server, as, uh, as I like to call it. I don't know if that makes sense to my non-tennis viewers. Um, but yeah, that's that seems like a decent way to explain what's going on here. It's a bit like a days ago possession play by Daniel. Um, had control, and he's giving it straight away to Zen. I wonder if he's going to try a more joyous style approach in this game. A bit more defensive and uh, counter attacky. Well, the first goal points in that direction, but I'm not sure if we're going to see any more of that play by Daniel. Hey, teammates, thanks for 50 pounds, 68 to the prize pool. He says, let's, let's get this prize pool rolling. I'll, I'll see if I can get a graphic up for you guys uh, while Daniel rolls in a second uh, goal here. Where's. How do I do this again? It's been a while. Where is it? Um, oh, I'm so bad at this. I think it's in... Okay. <laughs> oh my god, donation button here. Where on earth is it? They, they keep updating my stream software and I don't know what's going on. Okay, Zen's got a full pitch dribble meanwhile. He's all in. And Daniel gets faked. <laughs> While Zen uses all of his boost just to stay near to the ball. So yeah, Zen's game plan here is just to be near enough to the ball to threaten a flip into it. That's all he's doing there. He can't even get a flip into the ball um, off that touch. But he didn't need to. Because Daniel was expecting um, exactly that. I flip reset for Daniel. Well, that looked like a very uh, good touch to send to the ball. One that Zen didn't expect. Let's take a look at this from Daniel's POV. That's a crazy, crazy touch. He pre-flipped to center it? What on earth is that? That's insane. <laughs> I feel like the meta's being reinvented in front of our very eyes. These guys are just coming up with new ways to do things. Daniel starting off very strong in game two. This is where he is most dangerous. I feel like any time he comes off this wall after winning a kickoff, he just scores. Every single time. This is his this is his uh, his territory right now. Not possible to defend Daniel in these positions, in my opinion. Um Right, I've I've got to get a prize pull up on screen for you guys, so I don't need to keep reading out every um, everything that comes through. What have we got? Oh, we got another 50. Oh, my days. Okay, hold on. Let me just look away from the screen. If something cool happens, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to imagine some commentary for a second. <laughs> um, right, I think, I've, I think I've managed it. Hopefully we got this right. Let's find out. All right, meanwhile, Zen's going to get one back. Let's see if this works. Hey, it works. Sorry, players. I'm watching a pretty routine open net there, am I? Yeah, shout out to Fear as well for the 50 quid. He says, if I'm honest, this, I have this $50 because of Daniel. Now it's up to Daniel to win it. <laughs> that's fair. Also, you, yeah, you did actually just donate more than $50. 50 pounds. I think that's like $60 or something. So, uh, actually, even more than that. Open net for Zen. Catches Daniel with a demo. He's uh, clawing back here with a lot of time left. Super Gooster, thanks for the 14 month tier one. Also, we got that sir gifts and a sub to the da the Danish Chaos. Welcome, Danish Chaos. I can Zen equalize. One well, another mind game. Daniel, not gonna fall not gonna fall for this time. Just goes straight to the ball. Daniel air dribbling right next to the ceiling. Zen reads it the entire way. Efficiently gets back into position. That boost is going to spawn for him if he decides to wait. He doesn't want to. Decides to just take it the other way. Bit of a safer option there for Zen. He's accidentally backflipped, but Daniel's retreated, so not too bad for Zen. But still, these are panicky positions for the Frenchman. You know, he came into this series with a server disadvantage, but now he's got the server advantage. Maybe he's feeling that pressure. 
Daniel certainly doesn't look like he is. He scores yet again in game two. Nice, thanks for the six month prime. Welcome back to the channel. Only luck. You guys are so many, there's so many salty people in chat. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys for a second here. Okay, that's a banger, first of all. <laughs> Just another routine banger for Daniel's end series. Um, I'm going to be completely, brutally, uh, you know, no cap honest with you guys, whatever you want to call it. It feels like the French 1v1 fans and uh, the Daniel 1v1 fans are some of the, like, it's like you guys are trying to emulate NRG 3v3 fans. Just going to put that out there. Uh, you know, you guys can do whatever you want with that information. If you want to keep being you, I don't have a problem with it. Merely an observation uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go back and enjoy some more good Rocket League between these two. Zen, again looking to equalize. Wanted the low 50. Daniel not falling for the mind games right now. Zen started off the series, or started off this game with a big mind game. Since then, Daniel has refused to fall for them multiple times. Zen opts to retreat to the midfield, grab 100 boosts and, and resume offensive pressure. Daniel's just hovering in front of him here, reading the entire play as it happens in front of him. Gets a bump as well. Daniel now with the quick attack down the line. Zen slams the door shut on it. Decides to shoot first time here. It's not the best shot because it didn't force Daniel to concede back corner boost. Zen still keeping this very close, very competitive. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, well, you know, Zen's got to be the favorite here if US East games are close. But don't forget, Daniel has actually had a lot of success on EU server um, in 1v1s as well. And I expect him to get pretty similar ping to what Zen has. 90 to 100 should be achievable. So this is far from over yet. Just because Zen's playing Daniel close in uh, US East doesn't mean that Daniel can't win on EU or play Zen close on EU as well. Stumpy and Beans, thanks for the prize pool donations. You guys are all far too kind. Um, I didn't actually discuss a prize pool split with these guys. We'll have to figure out what they want to do later, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to distract them right now. Can Daniel add to his already impressive tally? Oh dear, he's landed very badly there. Zen's got an open net and he's not going to miss it. Well, that was an unnecessary play for Daniel. He was definitely stretching to try and get the reset on target there. Took the gamble and it didn't pay off. And now he's right back to just one goal in front. And a great kickoff for Daniel though, keeping him in control of the series. This time he doesn't go all in with the reset play. Keeps enough boost to recover. Oh, that's genius by Daniel. He didn't, I don't think he believed in it there. He's more scared of the demo than he needed to be. That was just open if he turned. Zen dunks it on target. It's just going to get through. He's tied again late in the game. I really, I've got to save this replay to know for sure, but I think Daniel could have turned after playing that really good pass to himself off the back wall, but he didn't want to risk it. And now Zen's punished him. And he looks to take the lead in the final 20 seconds. Looking for the boost seal, Zen gets it. Possession play is his priority right now. He's escaped Daniel's wrath. Wants the pinch, it goes high and wide. Daniel's gonna be delighted to see that. Now, he'll get the last chance of the regulation game. Zen gets it into the ground, overtime game two. It's a must win for Daniel to keep control of this series, stop Zen from just running away with it. He's coming at Zen again. Then just barely challenges low enough. Great height on the flip. Zen. Daniel's missed the boost. He's got to be so careful. Zen's chasing him the whole pitch. Oh, he didn't play that carefully at all. And he might end up losing as a result. He has just, oh, I think barely. Oh my goodness, it's so close. But it is not going to work out for Daniel. He missed the boost. He, well, he missed the boost steal, I should say. And the problem with that is that it leaves him completely vulnerable to the demo from Zen. That was the problem. Daniel had to run in a safe location and he didn't. He put himself right on top of Zen's car. Zen was able to trip him up and flick it on target. I mean, Daniel nearly, very nearly recovered that very awkward position um, with a great save attempt. But, you know, really, he's really only got himself to blame. I think I just readied up in the... Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, yeah, I think uh, he's he's honestly got himself to blame. He missed the boost um, at a critical moment there, and then he didn't stay in a safe position. Uh, ping test. I'll, I'll type in chat just in case the players forget. 
that this isn't actually the game we're logging into right now. Right, the series is completely in Zen's favor now. We're in two EU server games in a row. Zen's already taken two on NA. All right, Daniel's got a good server, but I'm gonna. I'll. Okay. Yeah, just go, go. It's fine. Daniel said no problem, so I'll just say go. He said no problem early enough that I'll just sit, I'll just run with it. You know, if a player says no problem during the countdown, I'd probably restart it, but he said it before the countdown, so they're probably good to go here. Not too many risks. Okay, Daniel's already impressed us all on numerous occasions with his impressive and incredible 1v1 career. But this might be the biggest test he's ever had. He's got to take down the undefeated Zen two games in a row on the European server. Tell them about the prize pool. I, I'm not going to lie, I totally forgot to do that, but it's fine. We're just going to leave, we're, we're going to let them be. I don't want to interrupt the game with uh, with a prize pool, an, import, an important game like this. But Daniel's still got, like I said, a chance to bring this back. I've seen Daniel win on a EU server against top tier players before. Um, he, he's definitely got a good enough connection to be, for it to be playable. It's kind of similar to what Middle East players get to EU, so this should be doable. It's definitely a disadvantage. Um, but it's doable. It's playable. Plus, it's a green number. We've talked, we spoke about this before. As long as the number's green, feels good, man. It's when that number turns yellow that uh, we all start lagging uncontrollably. I'm sure you can all relate. Great pinch by Zen. That might bounce Zen, you know. Oh, just off the near post. Zen chasing Daniel away from the play. Daniel staying safe. I love that little reverse takeoff from Zen. He's done that a few times in the matches he's played on my channel. That's not a good touch, though. Daniel's got a free shot, and he's not going to miss it. 3-0 Daniel. Well, look at this. Zen wins two games in a row on NA server. So now we switch to EU, and Daniel's winning. I, I really feel like there's a lot going on here mentally for both players. You know, when they're on the home server, the expectation, the pressure to win is actually starting to cause players to make mistakes. Um, but yeah, it is worth mentioning, Zen's come back from behind in both games so far as well, so this is not the first time Daniel's had a lead early on in the game. Great mix up there by Zen. Daniel's going to react well to it though. Keeps the ball in the back corner nice and safe. He's got to watch out for that boost finger though, he's probably used up all of it and that's going to be a goal for Zen. Unless we see a big miss. It's not going to happen. Daniel, I think getting a bit too uh, trigger happy with that boost there. The last 12 that he used could probably have been used better elsewhere. But once more, Daniel's able to back Zen up into an awkward position. The strong kickoff, Zen's overextended. Daniel's going to get another goal here. So Zen looking for the back corner demo, but when you don't have boost, this is very dangerous. He probably thinks he got one, based on the fact he's written what in the chat. Um, but I don't think so. I mean, it looked like he was bumping Daniel onto the wall there more than anything. And when you're bumping someone into the wall like that, they, they tend not to really go anywhere. Uh, they, you know, they just kind of stick to the wall that you're hitting them into. So that's a very dangerous thing to do. If you've got boost and you can boost right through them, the demo probably works there, but Zen had no boost, so he's yeah, looking like he's just lost momentum um, while overextending. Zen still has a lot of time in this third game. That flick looks like it will result in a second goal for him. Good enough to keep the ball on the goal line. Notice how all the best players' names end in Zen, Zen, Dan, Landon, Monkey Moon, Yano. I like how you've uh, thrown in uh, like some IGNs and some actual names there. <laughs> you've thrown in Jason and Landon because Beast Mode and First Killer don't end in N. It's sort of cheating when you use real names and IGNs, I reckon. But yeah, you're not wrong. It's a good strong letter to finish a name with. Um, that's what my mum always tells me. Probably a good time to tell you that it's, a it's actually not... Uh, my real name is not really Johnny. It's a it's a big it's a big lie. It's one of the one of the lies of the Rock League scene. My real name is actually John. So you all got scammed. Yep, cat's out the bag now. Well, where is Zen going on that play? He might actually recover, but that was a bizarre path to be taking. Daniel punishes him for it. Five two. Where was Zen going here? That is, uh, yeah, he looks like he bailed on that pre-jump. He was thinking about it, then he thought, "What am I doing?" <laughs> I flew back down, but it was just too late. This is control for Daniel. He would be wise to run some time down here, and that's exactly what he's doing. This is smart for Daniel to just let the clock uh, run down just a little bit before his next big attack. Honestly, he shouldn't really be going for all-in attacks at all. Um, now, with it, now he's got a three-goal lead. 
he's more than fine there. Great clear into the final two minutes of the game. Zen's been held to just two goals. By far the lowest score that he's had so far. Daniel bringing the series back. He's going to need to win both of the games on EU server if he's going to take control of the series again. So far so good, but Zen's really nailed those crossbar shots this, uh, this game. That's the second time that he's just perfectly hit it, so it stays on the goal line. Brilliant turn to get the shots off in time. Daniel pushing the kick off right past Zen. If there's one thing Zen probably could have done better this series, it's, you know, good doing one weird kick off at some point, um, other than the one that he did at 10-8 in game one. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's not doing weird kickoffs. The one time he did do it, it didn't work. Oh, wow, Daniel's all in. Zen's going to get this one into the net, I think. Yeah, he is. That is a huge risk for Daniel. Not a necessary one. I mean, he usually scores all these shots automatically, but, you know, even he can miss on these plays. And to do it with a two-goal advantage, it's definitely not necessary. Another kickoff for Daniel. This time, he's going to take his time. Zen fakes a reverse challenge. Daniel falls for it. Now away we go. With the Zen counter-attack, Daniel snipes him. He should just be letting Zen come to him here. He does not need to rush this. It's exactly what he's done. Into the air he goes. This is a risk for Daniel. Will it pay off? Yes, it will. Well, he's putting himself under immense pressure here. One goal advantage. And he's making a highlight reel. Like, who does this? <laughs> Why would you just go into the air for a clip when you've already got the one goal advantage? These guys are just simply built different. Another kickoff for Daniel. He's doing so well to win kickoffs in the away server here. He just has a great trust and a great uh, setup for himself. It doesn't really matter what Zen does. Zen's still fighting back here. 30 seconds to go. Can Daniel stop the comeback, which has happened in the past two games? He's pushing this kickoff to the right every time and winning. I feel like Zen might want to flip into that angle one time at least. So I feel, is it just me or have we seen this before? Every time, Daniel's just got the ball on this right side of the pitch. Now Zen's paying, if Zen's paying attention to that, he will flip to that same side. So in this instance, he'd be getting to the goal side flipping left. Uh, but that's not what he's doing. He's still just playing right into Daniel's strong side. And that, that is why Daniel's winning kickoffs. It's not luck. It's, uh, it's because Zen is not correctly responding to what Daniel's doing. Now Daniel can close this one out with a little bit of time wasting. He doesn't need to find the back of the net. He doesn't on this occasion unless Zen can score. Immediately we are going to game four with a game on EU for Daniel. Well this is incredible. We've seen no games <laughs> from anyone on the home server. <laughs> Every single game has gone to the player who's playing with the ping disadvantage. This is insane. Zen's starting to look like a either a genius or a troll by having Game 7 be on his own home server here. <laughs> uh, by the way, there's a... I think I'm going to say roughly... Where's the... There it is. I'll just say... Or the winner. I'll just say that for now. Oh, never mind. It's actually more like 300. Let's get into Game 4 and see if Daniel can keep up the streak of players winning on the away server. So Zen... Really, the only thing he needs to be doing right now is flip... He's not. He's done it wrong again. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody... <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to tell these pro players that you can actually just change the direction in which you dodge into the ball and kick off and you're going to have immediate success in these situations because Daniel's favoring that side every single time uh, because it's working every single time. Tell him yourself, obviously I'm not going to do that. Nice mind game by Zen. I should be a kickoff coach. Nobody, nobody pays for coaching on kickoffs. Everybody tells me that no one else cares. I'm the only person in the world who's interested in them, but I think it's just because no one else in the world understands it. Look, look at this. Once again. Oh, Daniel's missed it this time. But look what happened. Daniel hits the ball to the same side, and Zen has also missed an open net. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, Daniel's winning the same kickoff every single time, and it's up to Zen to realize that and change what he's doing. He's playing a losing strategy over and over again. It's like we're watching 2017 kickoff strategies right now, where both players come into the match with one strategy, and they just do it and hope for the best. Because <laughs> all, all Zen has to do, if you're wondering, because you know, I know, I, I say this every time that we have to talk about this. I know a lot of you already know this, 
But clearly Zen doesn't know, so that I've got to imagine that someone in chat doesn't know as well. But since Daniel's favoring that side, all Zen has to do is block that side by flipping the other way, and he'll win. It is as simple as that. Um, and he'll most likely win the kickoff. It's a great challenge by Zen to stop Daniel's last attack, but Daniel's covered in time to keep Dan or keep Zen from scoring again. Yeah, it's actually the exact same issue that Zen had yesterday against Toxic. He's had this issue two days in a row, so clearly he didn't watch the video, Zen! Or he didn't watch the VOD, he didn't watch the VOD of his Toxic match, or else he would have known, because I talked about it in that match as well. I thought he was a, I thought he was a friend, he's not even watching my VODs. I'm just kidding. I would be surprised if you watched the VODs. Because <laughs> he's played in five matches, it's quite a lot, quite a lot of content to consume. Has he missed again? Okay, this time he slots it. 2-0. Daniel looking to flick the ball into the mid boost there but he lost control of it and left his car in a very dangerous position it's so dangerous to yeah, we want to just very quickly mention same kickoff again Daniels won it uh, like I was saying gotta be very careful when you're flipping near your opponent at once you're telegraphing your location making it very easy for you to be bumped lovely recovery by Zen Daniel outplays him as he attempts to pinch it from one end of the pitch to the other Zen still keeps his momentum can he get back again yes he can that's unbelievable from Zen Three saves in a row. He's just racing side to side here. He doesn't believe Daniel from this position. He's just letting him hit it. Four saves from Zen. Daniel still getting boost deals. Still threatening. More attacks, but look out for the chain dash. Daniel forced to retreat. And start his attack again from his own half. He wants to go for the dribble this time. Hook shot threatened. Zen backs off. Does Daniel have that physical game in him? I think that would have been the answer at any one of these plays. I think he probably should have gone for a bump at least once. Zen is just letting him come at him and reacting to what's happening. Oh, pinch from Zen. Daniel's there for a great positioning by Daniel. The pinch was good. Daniel hits it right at Zen, who's flip resetting in defense now. Because why not? All that said and done, Daniel's scoreless. Three minutes into the game. First game that Zen's had the lead. Can he hold on to it? Ridiculous clear from Zen. Off the corner wall in defense. Can Daniel find a way through? I think air double bump is the solution, if I'm honest with you guys. I really think that's what you should be doing here. I know you're all cringing when I say that, but I honestly think that's the play. Because it would be a great thing to surprise Zen with after playing pretty clean offense for two minutes. The last two minutes. Not an irritable bump, maybe a run ahead demo, some kind of physical game would supplement what he's doing. Perfectly. Oh, a snipe from Zen. Daniel didn't respect it. Zen finds the angle. We have to see this from Zen's POV, see what kind of angle he's working with here. It's a great shot. Yeah, Daniel probably should respect that shot before turning. Of course, he, he's thinking about collecting possession there. That's why Daniel turns. He's hoping Zen's going to miss. And then he can collect the possession and maybe start attacking again. Zen is keeping Daniel scoreless. A much better defensive performance from him. Two resets. Three from Zen. And a rebound as well. Daniel saves it. Oh my goodness. What a save by Daniel. Zen must be furious because that was going to be clip of the day. Resets in different directions. And he dunked it in in the top corner. Only for Daniel to somehow be there. How has he read down that entire time? I have no idea. Anyway, we're right back to that same kickoff. Daniel's already won a billion times a series. Zen doesn't have the counter. Here comes Daniel again. Luckily, Zen's defense is uh, performing infinitely better than his kickoff game is. <laughs> Otherwise, he might be in massive trouble here. He still is. Daniel drops it low. Zen reads it. Daniel's really hoping that Zen would pre-jump at him there. Zen held his nerve. Still, space for Daniel. Boost for Daniel. Zen's out of the game. It's open. Daniel's shot looks good. And we have a one-goal game. There is a very non-zero chance that Daniel gets the ball on this kickoff. Will Zen flip left? Or will it be another Daniel kickoff possession? Which is it going to be? It's another Daniel kickoff possession. Zen keeps flipping right, but this time he's landed close to the ball. And he has control. Daniel needs to wrestle it from him. And he looks like he's ready to do it on a hurry. Zen just keeping the ball in the back corner here. Knows better than to center it in front of his own net. Letting the clock do the work for him. And he does have to give Daniel another look at it. Oh, that's not a clean landing by Daniel, though. Zen able to waste even more time. Daniel having to stay on the ball with low boost. This is air dribble bump territory. It has to be. Oh, he's got the flick. It's Moxie 2.0. Daniel deletes the ball. And we have yet another tie game. 
Oh my days. I feel like both players are just make, playing this game. They're making it so difficult for themselves, but they're too talented. It's actually working. We've got the seventh or eighth kickoff. It's already happened. <laughs> I feel like we've watched this exact same kickoff every time this game. What is going on? Zen keeping it up. Couldn't keep an eye on Daniel, though. Into overtime we go. Will Zen flip left? Or will it be Daniel's ball? It's Daniel's ball. <laughs> I don't I feel like there's a repeating pattern here <laughs> that might be happening. <laughs> Zen trying to win on hard mode. Oh, he's really in a tough position here. Daniel's bump leaving him stranded. And the boost seal is good. Daniel has the strong position. Will he go for another flick? Yes, he will. It's high, though. Daniel passes it to Zen, but Zen misses the open net. Back wall demo's threatened. Daniel runs well away from it. Zen actually thinks about turning. Daniel's back in the nick of time. He does not have a lot of boost, but he's pretending that he does just to buy himself some time to grab the back corner. And now here comes Zen. Early takeoff. Daniel's gone way too high with the pre-jump. Zen breaks the streak of away server wins by faking out Daniel. He was convincing enough. And it was a difficult position to be in for Daniel, definitely. I mean, he backed off all the way to his half, so Zen had the full pitch run up. It was never going to be easy. But that means that Daniel will have to win two games on his own server and then one game on Europe. Or else he will lose this series. So we're going back to US East now for two games. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, right? That's that's correct, isn't it? We're going we are going US East. I've not I mean I've not messed this up. Both players readied up, so. Yeah, I thought so. Both the players readied up, so I thought maybe I'd uh, forgotten the order, but... Yeah, yeah, this is the order, okay. This was the written order. I'll type ping test again, just in case the players panic. Zen has three match points. Unfortunately for him, the first two are on the away server. Daniel score only with kickoff goals? No, I mean, they weren't kickoff goals, they were kickoff possessions. First of all, there is a difference. Secondly, whose fault is it that Daniel's winning every kickoff? It's Zen's fault. He has done the same losing kickoff every single time. And now, like, you might think to yourself, wait, Johnny, you said that when Zen flips left, he's going to win the kickoff. The difference is that now actually the spawning points have flipped. That kickoff you just saw Zen lose with is the exact same losing strategy he lost with every time this game. Ping test? Well, yeah, Zen wrote no problem, so we're just going to go. Um, this is game one. Oh, what a play by Daniel. Yeah, Zen said no, uh, it doesn't show because I was in spectate when Zen wrote no problem, but Zen said no problem uh, before the countdown, so we're just running it with this game. I won't reset it. Wait, I, d I looked away for a second. Was that the straight spawn? I need to look at the replay. Is this a straight spawn? It was, okay. So on the straight spawn, there isn't really uh Well, there's no, you know, strong side, weak side. You're just direct at the other, at the opponent. But if Zen wants to counter what Daniel's been doing, he's got to get goal side and then flip, uh, you know, the same way that Daniel's going. He's got to flip to the uh, to the inside of the ball from a goal side position. It's pretty simple. And Zen does get the touch he wanted there. Daniel's going to collect it in midfield. Yeah, kick off goal from Zen. That'll probably <laughs> feel like deserved from his POV. Oh, okay. Daniel's going to slot this just... Able to get it past Zen, who almost saves it. Great placement from Daniel. He was still in a very good position to score, even if Zen did get the save there. You know, there's a funny little battle going on here. This is insane. Like, Zen is so... He is so committed to not <laughs> changing the direction he flips on kickoffs. And now he's just going more and more side on the ball, which, funnily enough, can work if he commits hard enough to it. It looks like he's committing a bit more to the side of the ball, and he's somewhat evening it out here. Um, I think it is about time I made a kickoff tutorial so we don't have to explain this <laughs> to literal pros. Um, okay, Rise, I'll look at Seam in a second. Great mind game again by Zen. He's definitely inside Daniel's head in a lot of these irritable plays. Oh, Ryze says if I mention kickoffs one more time, it's going to do his head in. Yeah, you know what? Ryze, you, you told me, or was it Joyous told me that you guys had great kickoffs? 
Gotta disagree. Gotta disagree. I don't want to spoil some future content that's coming to the RLCS stream. But all I'll tell you guys is that RLCS teams have no idea what they're doing. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. They're clueless and they need help. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil upcoming contents. So that's all I can say right now. <laughs> Yeah, must win game for Daniel. He's got to win three straight. We were on USC server right now, so he's... I mean, you'd think he's got the advantage, but actually three of the games have gone to the uh, away server player. I feel like Daniel just needs to get one game where he just feels like himself. He probably hasn't felt like himself in any of these games. It's definitely been Zen favored for the majority of the series. Daniel's not been able to get into that same flow state that he was in against Yan the other day where he's just complete prime offensive powerhouse defensive mind reader you mean just about kickoffs right yeah pro, I mean pro teams are really really pro players and pro teams are extremely smart um, when they think about the game. Like, when they actually think about what they're doing, they're very smart. The problem is that none of them actually have ever stopped for two seconds to think about what they're doing on a kickoff, which is why they're so bad at it. Uh, some teams have, like, some decent strats here and there. Of course I'm exaggerating when I say that they're all terrible. But yeah, you guys get the idea. That's a really great de uh, demo by Daniel. Zenz looks like he's uh, lagged out here briefly. Daniel, very respectfully, Dribbles the ball back instead of taking the free goal. But will it still be a goal for him? Tries to pre-flip to generate um, an awkward kind of touch on the ball. No luck this time. Daniel again with a wicked pre-jump. Zen has to double that sideways just to avoid being scored on. Really good touch as he left Daniel's half there though to stall Daniel's counter-attack. Now Zen with a pre-jump off the ceiling. It's just a fake this time. It's in positions like this where I feel like Daniel could really use an air dribble bump game. Zen was so easy to hit here for a player like of Daniel's caliber. Like right now, Zen is just a sitting duck. Um, but Daniel doesn't really want to do that. He did get the goal with the 50-50, which is a bit more towards the physical side of the game. I feel like those kind of moments where you just have somebody in complete fake challenge shadow mode, that's when, you know, flip reset is just... Un uh, not flip reset, air dribble bump is pretty unstoppable. Oh, <laughs> speaking of... What about that for placement? Daniel is not cringe. Yeah, that's why he's not a 10 out of 10 offensive player. If he was a little bit more cringe, he could be a 10 out of 10 uh, offense um, player in 1v1. Until he adds more cringe to his game, I'm going to have to give him a 9.5. Yeah, uh, he's, he's very well balanced though. He's like one of the most well-rounded players. I don't think that his offense or his defense is stronger than the other. I think he's just very, very close to best in the world in both. But not absolutely best in the world in both. Still an extremely world uh, well-rounded player, though. We're finally getting a bit more normal expected results here. Daniel dominating a US East game here. And um, Zayn winning the EU game before this. It wasn't as comfortably as this, so this is the first comfortable win we've seen on a home server game. Daniel looking to add insult to injury here, wanting to run up the score as high as he can. Yeah, a big mental victory. Zen playing run away, he can't escape. Daniel quite happy to just fling shots at him and recover. He's not too worried about conceding five goals against Zen. Probably is worth mentioning though that Zen did score um, six goals in a row. I think, well actually it might not have been six goals in a row, but he came back from six goals down against Moxie the other day to win a game. It wasn't in as uh, late game of a position as this is. But it is possible if Zen can get a look at the ball. Great save, pre-jump by Daniel. I think that should do it. That should be enough to Cross the finish line in game five. Not before Daniel tries another pogo. I feel like every time Daniel tries a pogo, he only air rolls into the ground like at the very last second. Zen shows him how it's done. Oh my goodness. 
Pogo shot into the top shelf by Zen. That's going to look pretty ridiculous from Daniel's POV. He actually dodged as the ball was about to hit him on the uh, top of his car there, right as his car hit the ground. Absolutely insane by Zen. Yeah, it's still going to be Daniel's game, but uh, Zen gets a moment to celebrate before we go into game six. That's a pretty nutty challenge from Zen. He's had some moments at the end of this game, but Daniel had the vast majority of the game going his way. It seems like Zen still has to... Well, he's not hes not done really much to change his tune on kickoff game. 16 shots to Daniel. I mean, you don't see kind of shot differentials like this at the very top level unless one player is dominating possession. Daniel's really, really dominated possession that game. It's up to Zen to do something about that. He's got to switch up what he's doing from the center circle. He just isn't doing it um, at all. So we're right back to Daniel Control here. I think the way things are going, we're likely to see a game seven, um, in my opinion. Looks like Zen just doesn't have the KO repertoire. Back to talking about kickoffs. Well, yeah, in this rare occasion, it's actually the only, it's the most impactful thing in the game right now. You know, it's not always the most impactful thing in the game these days, but right now it is. This is the biggest, it is the only real talking point. Oh my days. Zen's done it again. <laughs> He's just pogoed again. <laughs> it's so hard to spot this. Daniel thinks it's just going to be a catch, and he, he times his challenge accordingly. But Zen manages to get the ball to bounce that split second earlier by leading forward and pops it into the back of the net. Actually ridiculous. That's only, I think, the second that he scored this series, isn't it? But um, they've both happened back to back. Zen is still defending like an absolute maniac. You know, Daniel's going to have more control than him if how this game goes, if things keep going the way they have, but Zen is fighting bravely for every single play. Well, that is perfection by Daniel. Really well played. Got to see the, the flick from his POV as well. That's just gorgeous. That's more promising from Zen. He will actually get a look at the first play this time around. And, you know, look how much control this gives him. Control that he's been without for a lot of this latter part of the series. Now he's running the show. Now he's got boost. Now he's got the ball. And he's got Daniel at his mercy. Um, oh, it looks like we might have a... I think it's just the Twitch crashed. Yeah, if you guys who do, who do not uh, have a laggy stream right now could all type refresh in chat because my OBS is running fine. I've not dropped any frames. My internet's doing fine. Nothing's uh, disconnected. Looks like Daniel's going to be going one up here. He survives Zen's onslaught and counterattacks. Zen must have forgotten what it's like to attack for that length of time. He forgot that he's got to be really careful not to go all in against Daniel. That's what he figured out earlier on in the series. Again, he's able to get a decent position for himself. Daniel probably going to score off the back of this, though, because Zen's overextended again. Looks like he might be back in time. Daniel doubles it into the post. Well, I was about to say doubles it past him, but he's missed it this one. Shouldn't this match be on Europe? No, the, uh, if you want to know the order of the matches and why it happened, you'll have to watch the VOD, but we have chosen the right server for this match. Zen and Daniel with a cautious approach to game six. Seeing a lot of low scoring games today. Oh, that's a heavy touch by Daniel. He didn't grab the back corner boost either. Zen's shooting top corner to try and counter him. It's on the net, on the goal line. It bounces away from Zen. He's got Daniel in a very awkward position. No boost for the American. He's grabbing a 12 pad as we speak. But he looks like he's going to get the 100 as it spawns in the back corner. Oh no, he decides to stay with the ball. It might actually be a good decision if Daniel can stay active on it. Oh no, now he has to back off all the way, so it might backfire. He stayed on the ball there. Zen has a run up. Zen not able to do much with it. Thinking about the back wall demo, thinking about the ceiling challenge. Zen just trying to calculate his best option here, but Daniel in a very calculated approach. Multiple mind games for Zen, not working. Daniel still on the defensive end here. Extremely early pre-jump. 
And a successful one. Daniel with a brief open net. Rips it first time. That looks good. And it is to go up by two. Both of Daniel's last goals have come from very impressive defensive stands. Zen unable to find a way through. Can he get back into that position? It's been pretty rare at the tail end of the series. This game, Zen has had those extended onslaughts of offense. Now Daniel has him on the back foot again. Does not need to take any risks in this position. He's just going to stay on the ball here. Daniel doesn't have any boost, but he knows by shooting he can steal Zen's away. Minute and 20 to go. Zen, one of his more tame flicks of the day. That really not isn't, isn't going to cause Daniel any issues. Daniel with a much less tame flick. <laughs> just like at the end of last game, where Daniel failed a pogo and Zen showed him how it's done. Now Zen's failed a flick and Daniel has shown him what he should be doing. <laughs> That's a perfect flick from Daniel. He has really been consistent with those today. If he can hold on for another minute and 11 seconds, we will be going to EU server for game seven. And I have no idea who would have the advantage there. You know, it's Zen on the home server, but Daniel would be on a two game winning streak. And last time we were on EU server, Daniel was able to, you know, control the match pretty well. It was extremely close. A Zen win in OT. Daniel very carefully playing out the remaining time here. Limiting Zen's opportunities. And at this point, Zen kind of has to go all in. That's what he's thinking about doing. Delays the shot. And then snipes the top corner. Zen finds a way. All Daniel needs now is control one more time in this match. If he can get his hands on the ball and run it to 100 boost, it should be game seven on the horizon. Looks like first play will be Zen's though. It's a ceiling one. That's not going to be comfortable for Daniel. Zen's missed it. Daniel still almost lost control. Zen misses the ceiling shot and probably loses game six off the back of it. Well, that and combined with the other goals he lost earlier on, of course, but that should do it. Zen has to score here and then score a kickoff goal. How likely is that? I don't think very. Daniel not going to give him one. We indeed are going to game seven. One more server change needed. But this is anyone's to play for. We've gone completely 50-50 on home server game win-loss today. We started off the series with three straight wins for the home server, or for the away server player, I should say, followed by three straight wins for the home server player. Daniel icing it up, winning two on his own server. Um, but you've got to say, you know, I think Zen's plan at the end of the day has worked. You know, you, if you forget about how we got here, you forget about the fact that actually on EU servers, both players have won one game each so far. Zen's whole idea in this server selection process was to pick a good one. Daniel says no problem. We're away for game seven. Yeah, Zen wanted the advantage in game seven and he's got it. And now he has to prove it. Daniel on a bit of a streak here. And he's going to be the first player to score in game seven. Strong answer to Zen's initial attack. Daniel able to stay out of his net while saving that. Enabled himself to threaten the counter. Zen didn't think he was overextending for the boost seal. And that's exactly what's happening. Well, we've got a repeat of the last game. This time Zen shoots first time and he won't mess it up. Well, that's really good news for Zen fans. It looks like he's evened out the kickoff disadvantage he had in the middle of this series. Why did I speak too soon? Well, wave dash recovery should help him out here. He's got to be careful. Not to use all of his boost. He's floating off the ceiling here. Daniel decides to bail on the aerial because of that. That actually is genius by Zen. The fake ceiling challenge actually stops Daniel's shot without him even having to make a save. Because Daniel decided it would be better not to go for. Daniel has crumbled at the other end. And now Zen's up 2-1. Well, I feel like this isn't going to be a clean game either way. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a, such a high-pressure situation. I feel like we're going to see some mistakes from both players. I can just sense it somehow that we're going to have some misses. I think we're going to have some swings. Hopefully, I'm right, because if we do, we're in for a treat. Daniel going for the 
Air double bump late in the series. I love that. He saves it for game seven. You always want to save the best shots to last. That's what Daniel's done here. Oh, wow, Zen thought that was way further off target than it was. And he's, just like I said, he's made a mistake immediately. And this is what Game 7 does in these situations. Zen thought he was hitting the post much more flush. And then at the last second, he realized, wait a second, that might be going in. And he panics and centers it. Well, both players have made mistakes already. Uh, Daniel with another flick to the top corner. Zen has the answer for that one. Daniel will have the full pitch to play with here. Got to back off in these positions. You have to expect. You have to respect Daniel's ability to reset and launch the ball in from distance. That's why Zen's retreating there. He doesn't want to give Daniel an easy way through. Zen's used all his boost. Daniel with the boost steal. And Zen in a tough position here. He wants the low 50. Zen counters it with a great challenge of his own. Well, what a read that is by Zen. Daniel has flicked Zen so many times successfully in the past few games. Now he low 50s, and Zen somehow sees it coming. Zen has to be careful. He overextended earlier in this game, looking for a back corner boost steal. And he's nearly done it again. Oh my days, what a save. It's going to be Daniel's goal, but Zen deflecting it into the bar to force one more touch. And you can see the same problem. That's how he conceded the opening goal of the game. Just slightly overextending, looking for a boost steal, but not bringing the ball with him while he does it. He can't leave it for Daniel in those positions. Daniel fighting for the back corner boost here. Decides he doesn't want to continue that losing battle. Great jump by Daniel in defense. Zen bumps on the landing, though. Daniel stays composed. As he does so, he sees his boost being stolen in the back corner. Zen's got a good lineup to bump Daniel if he wants to here. He doesn't want to overextend in the back corner, though. He wants a cleaner outplay if he can get one. Safe turn by Zen to grab the mid-boost. Away from any potential demo. Low 50 by Zen. Daniel not able to match him. It looks like Zen is just the stronger player with the low 50s at the moment in game seven. Daniel trying to pre-jump all over the place. Zen not falling for it. He just drives the ball straight through his opponent. Completely tied. This is every bit as close as Jan versus Dan the other day. Seems like we have so many players that it's off of the ones rolled right now. Matching each other blow for blow, but Daniel lands next. This time it's a flick from the other side. Most of his flicks have been from that left side, so he's got a great right side flick here also. Just over two minutes to go. Can Daniel hold on? Win his third game in a row to close out the series. Great chase by Daniel there. Possibly an open net. Dan Daniel has to be careful as Zen rockets it off the inside of his own post to create a counter-attacking opportunity. He's going back for the mid-boost here if he can, but he has to leave the ball to do so. Keeps an eye on the immediate shot. And uh, just dodges the demo as well. Daniel using a lot of boost in this play. Needs a good 50. Doesn't get the best one, but neither does Zen. Zen's able to recover quickly. That's an opportunity for him to shoot first time. Decides against it, concedes possession. Daniel's got a great chance, but the flick lets him down. Just maybe able to get back and stop this shot. Yes, he is. Daniel very close to danger there. Running very close to a potential demo. You have to play those risky positions if you're going to win matches like this. A minute to go for Zen. Clock is ticking away in Daniel's favor. What has Zen got left? He's gone for a flick game, mostly here. And that wave dash shot almost had Daniel scrambling. Boost steal for Zen. A couple of fakes. In fact, a big one. And the last one works. Daniel looking for the 50. Just passes right to him. Well, Zen has been ice cold in these exchanges. Just wiggling next to the ball. Backs off while hiding behind it. And Daniel, who thought Zen was right behind the ball, was devastated to find he was actually just passing the ball to him. But this is ideal for Daniel. Perfect setup off the sidewall. Ceiling challenge for Zen, though. Daniel didn't see that one coming. Did he have time to adapt into a good 50? The answer is yes. He's right back on the ball. Zen charges in again. Daniel. Not reading these early challenges. Zen, who'd played defensively for most of this game, has switched things up on him, and he doubles in a lead with 29 seconds left. A burst of aggression from Zen has completely turned the tide of this match. And now it's Daniel who needs to find an answer late on. 
What's it going to be? Is Daniel off the right wall this time? Zen, no immediate challenge this time. But you can see Daniel's thinking about it clearly. Goes right through him, but Zen manages to get the ball clear. Daniel could demo him here. Oh, he missed the demo. That was actually just a free demo for Daniel, but he rushed it. He might still have a chance to score here. Low 50, off the bar, and not quite in. Oh my goodness, what a save by Zen. He's chain dashing to try and get back to the ball. Daniel's going to have one more chance. It's still a chance to score, but Zen clutches it up. Can he ground it? I think he's done it, ladies and gentlemen. What an unbelievable stand. Zen with one of the best saves I've ever seen. Finishes off one of the best series I've ever seen. 4-3, but well played to both players. We have a 12-save game for Zen in Game 7 on EU servers. Daniel brought the heat. Zen managed to extinguish it. Absolutely incredible.